This is a video about the Samsung Series 7 Slate that was introduced in September 2011. It was used for example for the Windows 8 prototype. I customized it with the triple boot system. First, OpenSUSE Linux from March 2013, then IBM OS2 War from 1996 and finally Microsoft Windows 8 Professional. For booting and selecting I used the Airboot Manager 1.08 from September 2012. This allows me to use the volume controls on the left side of the slate to select each operating system and start it with a rotating control on the right side of the slate. First we will take a look at the boot process of Microsoft Windows 8 Professional. It was introduced in October 2012 and it is really customized for tablet PCs. The Samsung Slate is a good example for this. Now we start the boot process. To get the real time we have to cut 2 seconds for the login sequence, so in the end it will be about 15.8 seconds altogether. Second we will take a look at OpenSUSE Linux 12.3 from March 2013. I am not a Linux expert, but I would like to show you how this is running on this leg. So it is not customized by me, it is running out of the box and the best of it free of charge. The boot process is usually as fast as with Windows 8, maybe 2 or 3 seconds longer. Finally, here comes my own version of IBM OS2 Warp version 4, codename Merlin, that I equipped with some parts of Ecom Station, the OS2 Warp processor. The boot sequence is not as fast as with the other operating systems, as this is a 32-bit operating system in contrast to the 64-bit Windows and Linux. But still, it's doing a good job. Working with Microsoft Windows 8 with this tablet is really great. The user interface is very responsive and fast, both with stylus and finger support. There is a very good handwriting recognition as well. This is really good for students or working issues. Internet Explorer 10 is integrated for internet use. You can change between home pages by using simple moves on the tablet. For some tasks you still have to change to the Windows 7 interface that is underlying under the Windows 8 tablet interface. Because of the internal SSD hard disk drive, great applications or bigger applications like office programs start very fluent and very quick. That it is a hybrid system is easily shown if you try to customize your system via the Steam Control. There are two ways, one with Windows 7 as seen before and one from the Windows 8 interface of the tablet. This Core i version of the Samsung Slate is equipped with a Bluetooth keyboard. The tablet is fully supported by Windows 8. Especially the multimedia effects are working really great as you can see here with the YouTube player. This is an app from the Microsoft App Store. The App Store cannot be compared with Android or Apple App Store, but there is 
almost for every task one special app. For connection you have a LAN port, a Wi-Fi port and UMTS HDSPA port. OpenSUSE Linux 12.3 is really great. It is running out of the box. Please keep in mind, I am not a Linux expert and therefore it is not customized by me for this slate. It is just as it is, looks like when you just install it. But as you can see, finger and stylus are supported out of the box. Linux, as usually, comes with a lot of free of charge applications like LibreOffice 4.0. The hardware is almost fully supported by the operating system. Here you can see the use of the Bluetooth keyboard. For Internet SS, the latest editions of Firefox and Thunderbird are integrated. As you can hear and see, all the multimedia functions are as well supported as like in Windows. I'm not sure there is for Linux something like the movement or gesture control like as in Windows 8 around. This would make the device even more usable. right corner you can see more symbols like for attached device, Bluetooth or Wi-Fi and other small programs. On the OpenSUSE Linux DVD there are so many applications offered, I cannot show here even half of it. Here is one free of charge personal information manager for example. My personal conclusion, a good and free of charge alternative to Windows 8 systems. What you can see here is the last OS2 Warp version from IBM launched in 1996. I equipped my personal edition with free of charge drivers from the OS2 internet community as well as from the official Cessa product Ecom station. There are still a lot of native OS2 programs around like in example OpenOffice. As you may notice, thanks to the Dutch developer Wimbrule, I've got finger and stylus support running.
Most of the programs are from 1994 and here you can see the original OS2 Warp tutorial. As there is a full Windows 3.11 included in OS2 Warp, I can run old 16-bit applications like Microsoft Word 6 or Excel 2.5. Thanks to the Panorama VESA video driver, I've got full resolution in true color support. I still try to keep the old Warp 4 applications running, like Warp Guide. For Internet Assess we have versions for Firefox 10.0 or Thunderbird and SeaMonkey. Even Flash 11 support is available. For now we only have LAN support, Wi-Fi and UMTS are still under development. As you can see here with latest IBM kernel support we have all four cores running. Thanks to Java 6, we can use Java programs for handwriting with stylus or finger. In addition, we have from Nokia a QT 4.7 emulation to use this kind of programs. Thanks to the ACPI subsystem, even the battery status can be seen. The system remains cool and the fan stays quietly. For better printer support, the Linux CUPS system is ported to OS2. What it makes really interesting for me to work with this operating system is that I still can run applications that are more than 15 years old, like the Lotus Smart Suite from 1997. Unfortunately, the sound support is still somewhat weak. This depends on the USB support that is still under development. So you will get sound support not on each boot, but mostly. I realized the installation of the system via a clone system, so I installed it first on an old PC, cloned and imaged this installation and replayed it or restored it on this slate. For this I use a great program DFC from Jan van Wyk. You may wonder why I still use this operating system. My first own PC that I bought in 1995 was equipped with OS2 Warp 3 and since I try to use this and keep this companion on my modern PCs.
It is like driving an old timer car or collecting stems or something like this. Just hobby. And I will try to go on as long as possible to keep the old origin feeling. And now before my conclusions, the shutdown sequences. My final conclusion, there's no winner. If you want to use it with Windows or Linux, both are really great for using. In addition, I will try to use my OS2 Warp customized system as long as possible. Thanks for watching you and see you the next time.